Hey guys, we're going to be working on this art journal page today. It's on the craft cardstock in the Dina Wakely Media Journal. The Of the big journals, it's the small one. <laughs> and I'm just going to go through and pick out a ledger paper that I want to use for my circles. And I'm going to take my Cat Kerr and Joggles foam stamp. This is called Time's Up. It's got like little um, numbers around it, like a clock. And I'm going to use the inside to draw a circle in certain parts of my ledger paper so I can... Um, what I really want is I want to, this ledger paper has like really small writing on it and I want to try to, and that's why I chose this particular paper because I knew I could see a lot of writing in a small circle. Um, and this is some new ledger paper that I had got that's in uh, my ledger paper packs that I sell on Etsy. And um, it's got like really small squished up writing and I'm just going to apply those with um, some collage podge mat and then I'm going to take my Dina Wakely Media acrylic paint in uh, turquoise and uh, fuchsia and um, I'm going to apply a little bit out on my page around my circles and then I'm going to use a really wet paintbrush to kind of get that um, paint moving and flowing around. I do have to add a little bit more of the turquoise because it's not as intense as the fuchsia and I'm also kind of like um, touching the fuchsia to the turquoise with my paintbrush so it kind of mixes and gets that nice kind of purpley color and then I apply a little bit with my finger um, a little more water and then I'm gonna tilt my book upside down and spray it with a little bit of water to get some drips really all around in an organic way and then I needed a little more turquoise and then I dried everything and um, I'm gonna go in with some cheddar now. I love, you guys know I love the cheddar and the fuchsia. <laughs> but um, I didn't wanna mix everything all together, all three colors at once, because I was afraid that when I tilted my book and added the water, I would get some uh, colors that I didn't want. So that's why I decided to do it in layers. So I am gonna add some more of that fuchsia next to the cheddar. And I'm just gonna apply that around on my page until I'm happy with the way that it looks. I'm also using um, a lot of water on my paintbrush like we did originally. And then I'm gonna spray that all over with water, get things moving around. And then I'm gonna take some of my Golden Fluid Acrylic in Sepia. And I'm gonna use this to stamp on my foam stamp, but it's fluid acrylic, so I was afraid that it would be too runny to make a good stamped impression. So I'm just gonna take some of my Dina Wakely gel medium and add that into my paint. And that makes the fluid paint a little more heavy bodied so that um, I could hopefully get a better stamped impression. And then I'm just gonna use my brayer and brayer that over my foam stamp and stamp that around my circles. And I know it's gonna fit perfectly because I used the inside circle um, as a template. And then I'm gonna take the leftover sepia paint, mix it in with some water and add some splatters all over my page. I added sepia because um, the brown tones kind of matched like the, um, the craft paper in the background. And I usually don't add brown really um, in this way so this was kind of like an experiment and I then came in with my Dina Wakely scribble stick in umber because it kind of matched the sepia and then for some reason I got out my sepia um, acrylic ink why I didn't just use the fluid acrylic don't ask me <laughs> So I'm gonna apply that around my circle and then I'm like trying to force it to drip But they look too perfect too intentional too forced so um, I'm just gonna wipe everything away and um, At first I just dabbed up the drips and then I just wiped everything back So I don't end up using this but I'm gonna leave it in so that you could see my process I mean I spent a lot of time on this portion and it didn't make it in the video <laughs> I mean in the in the page but this is how I work so I have these um, vintage flashcards in my Etsy shop and I love to make like little tags out of them so I cut it down to be a little bit smaller and then I just used a tag a shipping tag that I had to make the tag shape and punch a little hole in it and then I'm gonna go about coloring it I add a little bit of lemon a little bit of magenta and these are all Dina Wakely media colors and then I'm gonna add a little bit of that turquoise in <coughs> excuse me 
and I'm just using my finger to apply it and then I'm going to take this STARS Umwow Studio stencil and the Umwow Studio stencils are super thick um, so I'm going to apply paint with my finger through it and it really gets a nice like dimensional kind of uh, look to it like the edges get kind of thick and then the extra paint that's on the top of my stencil I'm just gonna press into my page just not so I don't waste so we get some repeating elements at this point I didn't know that I wasn't gonna use this tag um, and then I'm gonna take a pink neo color too I think it's called salmon and um, do a little scribbling and then I thought maybe I wanted to add this Viva Las Vegas stamp stamp I added a little bit of lime and some sky blue into my tag because why not have all the colors? <laughs> but to me, it looked like a little too busy. Like, like the background was a little too busy for all the busyness on the card. And I'm still trying to make it work at this point. I'm adding more um, paint in there. And I think maybe if my background wasn't so bold and bright and there was so much going on that this would have worked out. And I'm going to save this tag for another project. Um, and probably use it in the same way with that... Um, that um, singer stamp there um, but it just didn't and it, it, I think the tag maybe was a little a scotch too big because it was covering up and I know it's just the background but I really love that ledger paper and I didn't want to cover up so much of it and some of the places where the drips got together or came together I really like the way that looked and I'm still trying to make this tag work guys so then I brought in a smaller tag and I'm just like <coughs> the tag isn't gonna work we got to step away from that and try something else. So I'm taking that same ledger paper. Um, it's just like the bottom part doesn't have any writing on it. But um, I stamped with the Viva Las Vegas stamps grunge numbers. <coughs> oh my gosh, I'm sorry guys. In some blue Heidi Swap ink. I don't even think they make this ink anymore. But it was in my stash. Got to use it up, right? So I'm going to edge those with some black ink. Actually, no, I think this might be um, the brown stays on. And I'm just going to arrange them on my page. Really, honestly, after I got to this point and the tag didn't work, I didn't know what the heck to do to finish off this page. So I probably should have walked away and let it marinate, but I was trying to get it finished or or wanted to get it finished. So, um, you know, it's not my favorite. It's probably a little bit too much going on, but you know it is what it is it's got a lot of my favorite colors in there so i just used my black ultra fine tip posca paint bed to add some journaling next to the one two and three and that's it for my page um i think this is one of those pages that i kind of like um the like um elements the um the smaller elements like these close-up shots better than the whole together but you know it is what it is i'll try this technique again and um hopefully I'll like it better but really enjoyed um, the cat curve foam stamps I'm enjoying using those they're fantastic I never was a foam stamp person but uh, now that I have them and I realize that you can use them with paint and uh, I just can't get enough so link to my Etsy shop down below if you want to get some of the new ledger paper or the um, uh, the, the, the cards the um the flash cards or anything else that's in there right now um yeah thank you so much for watching if you have any questions or comments let me know i would love it if you subscribed and hit the little notification bell so you never miss a video new videos every tuesday it's our new schedule new videos every tuesday um there'll probably be other ones throughout the week but definitely tuesday's new videos but hit the bell so you don't miss one and yeah uh thank you so much for watching bye bye guys